Okay guys, I'm back. And um, this is a bigger one. This is a 30 by 30. And again, I am going to, but I'll try to pour it so that you can see it. So I put a little lid under here so it's slanting down. Well, it's really slanting the other way. It's slanting like that. Maybe I should put it here. That looks a little bit better. If I pour it down here, it'll go down and then you guys will be able to see it. Now, for layering of the paint, um, I am going to show you, you can see it right here. Because you want those rings, you want um, multiple layers of colors because that's what gives those rings. So that's what we're doing right here. There's a lot of bubbles in this one, but we'll see what happens. Then of course the gold mica, 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 whatever. Then more of the light colored. And as you can see, I'm building it up as we go along, putting all these colors in here one by the other, then again the lighter one. Sometimes I'll just spread it straight across just to give it a little bit of mixture. And I want to make sure that I get enough paint in here that I can do it in one go. I can just pour it. And right now it's about up to, let's see, 300, I think 300 milliliters. And there's beautiful stuff going on in here. And I'm going to put in this color again. And I think I'll finish it off with the light colored because I sort of think that is pretty. Okay, maybe a little bit more gold. We'll see. If we're going to have a lot left over, I'll do some uh, squishes because you guys like that so much. Okay, here we go. This, But this time I'm going to do it really slow. Yeah, you can see it. But we're going to do it slow and we're going to move it sideways just to give it a little bit more of a variation. As you can see, and I'm going to move it all over the canvas, but just stopping every now and then to let it make that beautiful pattern that we like. And you really have to have a lot of patience to do this because you want to pour it slowly. And now I'm going to stop right here. One more drop. And we're going to start up here again. And you got to really get into the Zen mode to do this. See, the faster you pour, the bigger those uh, variations are going to become. But you want to go, you want to pour down with the slant and not up because then the pattern gets a little bit disrupted and doesn't look as beautiful anymore. But here we go again. And remember, this is going to go, this is going to turn into uh, bigger effects once we tilt. And that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to make it tilt. There it goes. See how it's starting to get bigger and bigger? And we're going to hope that we have enough paint on here, which I don't think it is. There is. So I'm going to let it come down, making sure I, I get all these little wispy things that I really like. Stop right there. And I'm going to add to it. But I'm holding the canvas in my hand, so that might not be such a good idea. Okay. 
but we will see what happens. That is looking pretty. And I want one up here. That's going to come down the side. Sorry you didn't see that one. But I really need it to come down here and down over the corner. Oops, okay. And now I'm going to let one come down here. But a little faster this time. Just to see what happens. Oops, dripping. You don't want those drips in there because they disrupt the whole thing. So I'm letting it come down there. And now I really have to uh, torch because I did add silicone in this one. But I really have to torch it. Otherwise the, uh, the silicone will be on top and then there's nothing to torch. No, but I'm not going to torch the whole thing. So I'll have a band of cells coming down here and this we're going to leave alone. And slowly move it. And there's something in the paint there that I don't like. don't know where that came from though. Let's see where it is. It's, oh, it's gone. I, maybe it was air after all. Yeah, it was. So we're going to let it run down again. Whoops. That's about it. So we have some really bubbly stuff going on. We have some feathery stuff going on. Just want to fix that because there's a little bit of canvas showing and then I will see what I think about it well I'm not too happy with what's going on here with those cells I'm not too happy about it and I think again I have my uh, paint just a tad on the on the thin side because I can see here I can see some uh, canvas popping through here also so that is a sign that the uh, the silicone sort of did its thing that's okay that's gone now but I still don't like that so what are we going to do? I think we're going to put in more of the light blue. Because I like how uh, the light blue gives a definition to those uh, feathery things. So right now I'm going to pour one right smack in the middle and let it do its thing again. Not tilting too high because otherwise we know that it will really disrupt the whole thing. There we go. That is pretty there. That we're going to keep. And I want one down here. Oops, 
sometimes you just have to tilt too long because you want it to go over the edge and then it disrupts the other one but that's okay there's a little bit of calm here this in the middle I'm not so sure of so I'm gonna do something to that also but I'm gonna just bring down one like that and I'm gonna put one next to it and another one because I want to go over there okay let's see if we we do have to get rid of a little bit of the paint because there's too much paint on the canvas but let's see what happens when we torch that last bit I put in there yeah that's turning up really nicely and we'll just leave it as is now I am seeing that here where the gold is uh, the canvas is showing um, here you see that there because um, somehow I'm not sure why but it is repelling the paint so as you can see you can just drop a little paint on it and that will take care of it make sure you get a little bit that looks like the colors around it man I've never worked that long on one painting but I really didn't like what I, I did there and uh, that that is really all about experimenting when I did the little one I was planning on making a big one exactly the same and then you know you get all these other ideas in your head and that sort of takes over that's how I do that sometimes I can just kick myself in the uh, rear end but <laughs> But you learn a lot from doing stuff like this. So we'll just keep on dabbing here until we see no more canvas. That one turned out really pretty. That is okay. All along there is okay. We have all the canvas covered. Turn it around here. A little bit of orange. Oops, first this one. I think I need my little palette knife. A little bit of orange. Okay, that looks good. There. That one looks okay. A little make a little pattern in it. That one is covered. I think we'll just see what happens when this dries out. I am going to, of course, put a little bit of glitter on it because I like glitter. But I sort of like the way it, it's working. Now, only these things are really not my cup of tea. So I'm going to pull that through. Just make it a little bit into uh, sort of a background okay that's okay maybe a little down here too that was working OP okay that's it guys I'm gonna let it dry like this we'll see what happens of course a little uh, glitter to make it a little bit more interesting but again I'm going to use this really fine art glitter <sighs> just blow it over the top <sighs> like that and uh, nothing more I just want a hint of glitter that's it there it is Nah, yeah, I'm semi satisfied I'm about 40% satisfied but we'll see
Now, as you can see, what's on the table here, uh, because it, I think it is on the uh, on the thin side. Because as I do this, you can see it turn into mud straight away, and that's sort of a sign that your paint is a little on the thin side. Because if I scoop this up right here, and I do something to it, as you can see, it's almost instantly turning into one color. And that's probably what went wrong with the whole painting. So um, I hope that is something that you will stick into your head. It does sell up a little bit like uh, that's okay, but the colors are so blah that we don't really want this. This is nothing to, uh, to use or to make us happy. See that? That's no, not pretty. Nah, we're going to ditch this. <clears throat> Not even if we put a little orange on top. Let's see. See, the minute you start moving it, uh, that's when it starts turning to mud. And it does sell beautifully, as you can see. But because there's almost no definition in the colors, you're getting something that is totally not pleasing to the eye. There's no contrast because it's all sort of uh, mixed together. Now, this is also not a color that I would be using in anything because it's uh, very light, uh, light greenish. It is sort of like a jade color, but then really washed out jade color. And that's not something um, I'd want in a, in a pour. Um, I know that, you know, you want to be uh, as cheap as possible, you know, well, not cheap, but you don't want to spill or waste a lot of paint but if you get a color like this and you're thinking uh, let's put this in in with a pour because I don't want to waste it then you might just ruin the whole pour because this is such a butt ugly color let's face it guys who wants this color in a pour this looks like nothing so we're not going to use it there it goes now um, I'm gonna clean this a little oh no I have still have some uh, paint I will do another uh, one with a pellet knife. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Where's my little clocky thingy? There you are. And I've already got some um, paint mixed up for uh, after this one. But that's uh, also a very experimental thing. So I'm not sure if it's going to work out. But we'll see. I know you guys love me experimenting. So that's what we're going to do. Now, that's, a, that's the gold. That will... When this dries, it'll be glittery as can be, only you don't see it now because it's covered with PVA. But we're going to put a little blue on there and a little bit light, light blue if it'll come out. Doesn't want to come out. And I'm going to put some orange smack in the middle. There it is. Then I'm going to cover both. Squishy, squishy. Oh, I let it go. That's so, that is pretty. I like these colors. Now let's see if we get some something scrumptious. Ooh, look at that. That really pops right out. <laughs> Not that I'm going to use it though, because I don't really think it's pretty. Where's my big palette knife? Oh, there you are. Let's see what happens when we do this. Let's see if we're in focus. That is kind of cute. Okay. This I might use. Yeah. Put this one away. And let's see what the other one does. We'll let that run to the middle a little bit. That's a good thing about this paper, the uh, Kodak Extra Life. Because it's waterproof, it won't buckle, so it'll stay really nice and flat. See it moving down there. We'll let it all run to the middle. 
and then we'll let it come down. See what it does, if it makes something pretty. Don't see anything pretty yet. Oh no, I'm not I'm not allowed to say purdy. Can't say purdy because a lot of people say no, please don't say purdy because that that sounds so strange. I'm not sure about this, but maybe for a um a multimedia piece. Maybe. That might be something that I can put in there. Yep. Because the one thing I do like is when um, when you have these really uh, nice colors, light colors. Do I still have a little bit of that brown? Because I'd like some brown in there. This is burnt sienna, what I'm dropping on top. Okay, burnt sienna. Then I want to drop in some orange. Zip. And a tiny little bit of the darker turquoise. That's it. Now another thing that people have been asking me to do is um, when I have the drip off on the table to get a whole new canvas and stick that in there, I can tell you guys that is not pretty. We've done that before, way, way, way in the beginning. Because what I think is, what you're thinking is that when I have some beautiful pattern here that you can just pick it up with um, that you can just pick it up with the paper but that doesn't work. Gotta do this again. This one not so much. This one may be better. Here it comes. That's more than enough. That's kind of cute. Let me get you in focus. There it is. Okay. And I will show it to you. <laughs> what some people were thinking. Like if like this is all, all covered, so this is all paint. We're gonna smooth it out that everything is covered. And say we have I'm gonna make a little pattern in the middle, because this is all paint that I have to ditch anyway. So we're gonna put some in here, and then a little bit of this, and let's say we swipe this a little bit, and a little bit there, and we let that all pop up. Okay, as you can see, there are a lot of cells uh, cells here, and it's looking really beautiful. Now, when we take a piece of paper, this is the paper, Kodak Extra Life, and we place this on here, as you can, let me get you in closer. You want to see this in close. Okay, see that? There is a lot of cells here on the paper, on the table. Now, we're going to slowly place it in there and pull it up. See what happens? You see nothing of those cells. So all you're going to get is this. And I'm not sure, but for me, this is not something that I'd like on a canvas. Now, of course, you can torch it a little, but as you can see, because of pushing it in and pulling it up, you're already mixing up the paint again. And as you can see, it's just blah 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 so that's not something you want to do if you want to do a push painting and I have done that way in the beginning I think uh, numbers something like 20 in the 20s look at the gold that is beautiful you're not seeing it but that is beautifully gold but if you want to do something like that all you have to do is get yourself um, your table covered let me get you in a wide, wide again. Okay. All you have to do is cover your table with plastic, then do like this on, on the, uh, on the plastic, but make sure you don't have any drip off because that, that's going to really disrupt the whole thing. Then like that, I'll show you a little one. That, 
a little bit of darker, a little bit more dark. And you just do this on your table. Uh, need a little sticky. There you go. Put some dark on there. Now, if you have your whole table covered like that, and then you take your canvas, because now the colors are just laying next to each other and on top of each other, but really not really, you know, like this, like mixed. So I'm just taking that away out of the equation. Now we put our canvas on top and we pull it up and then you get this. That is pretty. So imagine a, a canvas totally covered like this, a little torch here and there. And that's what you got. So if that's what you're looking for, that's okay. But then you have to make sure that your table is clean. You put your paint down and you, doesn't matter if you layer some, that's okay. But most of it you want next to each other, a little bit overlapping. Then you press your canvas in and make sure your canvas is so tight as a drum. Because if there is too much movement um, possible in the canvas, when you push it down, the air will be under your canvas and your paint. And when you pull it up, you'll have big blotch spots or canvas where there's no paint. So that's something that you have to uh, be careful about and make sure that you don't get that because that is kind of... Uh, see like this here. There's a whole bare spot that really is not that pretty. Now it's gone. And uh, when you do that, you can do, uh, I think, about four or five canvases you can press in before uh, all your paint is gone. But they, they tend to get messier the more you push into them. So sometimes maybe if you don't like it a little, you know, a lot of colors mixed together, uh, maybe then you, you would do two. And then maybe with paper, you could do paper to soak up the last because this is kind of cute and it goes with the other ones I made so I might just do a multimedia piece with these colors I, I really like the way they look just a little gold here along the side okay guys thanks for watching I'll be right back with the experimental Vallejo PVA pour which I have in mind and don't laugh if it goes all wrong because I'm not sure it's going to work. So thanks all for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.